Ever since I was a little kid, the only dream I've had is to become a WWE superstar. I never remember a time in my life where wrestling wasn't part of it. I remember me and my younger sister would watch SmackDown and Sky One on a Saturday morning together. We both hop around the living room doing the worm. I grew up in the 90s as a mega fan and I never grew out of wrestling, even when everybody else around me did. As a teenager, I wanted to look like a wrestler and that got me into the gym and then the gym got me into bodybuilding. But my biggest dream in life has always been to perform, wrestle and entertain with the WWE. WWE hasn't happened for me yet, but that still is the goal. It's been the goal since day one. And for me, it will always be the goal until I stop wrestling. So if you were to tell nine-year-old Shreddy that he would be wrestling one of his absolute favorite childhood wrestlers, Scotty Tawati, nine-year-old Shreddy's head would fall off. It'd be spinning round. He would not believe us. I've been lucky enough to wrestle former WWE guys, NXT, NXT UK guys, and some of the best indie wrestlers from all across the world. But by far, this is my biggest ever match. And for nine-year-old Shreddy, this genuinely is a dream match. Let's take a look at how 32-year-old Shreddy spent his day from the bodybuilding side of things, the diet side of things, to backstage footage, prepping for the match, and the match itself in today's video. Breakfast, standard. Got the cream of rice. We've got the protein powder mixed in, a little bit of maple syrup on top, a little bit of sea salt on top. We've got three full eggs scrambled, well, two scrambled, one fried. So this is going to come to around 70 grams of carbs, 40 grams of protein, and 15 grams of fat. So after breakfast, we headed off to the gym. And today should have been a rest day, but Shreddy felt pretty jacked and pretty stacked. Didn't want to take that rest day. So we threw an arm day into today's plan. Now, I didn't want to do what would have been a too heavy or a too intense workout with me wrestling later on that day and it being the first show back so i just did a nice arm workout got a little bit juicy look at that beef right there got a little bit pumped just to you know move some blood around just more so mentally to feel good and you know feel like i've been at the gym which i had been and i enjoy training arms arms is probably a lagging body part for me not this arm though this is the arm that i tore this is the bicep i tore a few years ago and this looks looks pretty juicy looks like a good slab of beef right there but we did do a pumping arm workout so we supersetted triceps with biceps and we started off with the triceps on the first movement the push downs supersetted with dumbbell curls moving over to the tricep extension with a dumbbell and we were aiming for reps of anywhere between probably 12 to 15 possibly up as high as 20 on this workout but 12 to 15 is a typical pumping workout range for me and we were supersetting the tricep exercises with the bicep so straight after the overhead tricep extension, we moved on to hammer curls. Sometimes I train with an arm day, sometimes I train without one. The current workout split I'm doing typically doesn't involve an arm day, but I was able to work things around and just throw this arm day in as opposed to taking the rest day. An arm day every now and then for me isn't gonna harm me. My arms are lagging, so if I can just get some high rep, high volume work in there, I think it's only going to benefit me. When I say that my arms are lagging, a wrestling fan or a casual viewer may look at this and think, oh, you have pretty big arms, pretty big shoulders. For bodybuilding purposes, when bodybuilding judges are judging me on a stage, they tell me that my arms and shoulders are lagging behind the rest of my upper body. So it's quite a priority for me to try and bring these up. So then we moved over onto this exercise here, which was the easy bar cable curl. And we supersetted that with triceps dip machine so we did two exercises starting with tricep and then hitting the bicep exercise and then the last exercise of today's workout started with the bicep exercise finished off with the tricep exercise not too heavy or too intense of a workout today just an arm day the scary thing is we're still 15 weeks out from a show and this bit already you can only imagine 
come 15 weeks, I'm gonna look like a monster. I'm gonna be a walking, talking, real life, scary movie. So meal prep's done. We've got the chicken, the peppers. We'll be taking this with me later when we head up out for the day for wrestling. We'll be taking three meals with me. Right now, we've got chicken, peppers, and the tilda rice. This meal is gonna be 70 grams of carbs. It'll be about 45 grams, just under 40, about 45 grams of protein. We'll be having six meals today, so the protein in each meal is between 40, 45 grams. So this is the post vital meal, second meal of the day. And today is a high carb day, so 450 carbs, 250 protein, fats, whatever it is. Oh, it's been a long, long time since I had to pack this, which is, nice little, little bag bag of wrestling gear everything in here for the night so making sure we've got everything in here we've got boots and i've never bought a pair of wrestling boots because these are big willy challenge's um former nxt uk referee he kindly lent me his boots uh. and i'm not giving them back <laughs> and i've wrestled them for years now so the will return will one day probably is when i retire um i've got new wrestling gear in here which we will be debuting tonight and then we've just got other wrestling gear in case i need it towel meal prep will be going in in a sec um yeah that's it for the wrestling bag but i found this which I've had probably from either 1999 or 2000. It came with a PlayStation magazine, back called well, Computer and Video Games magazine. I remember buying the magazine, you got like 20 of these cards in, and on the back had the move sets for everybody on SmackDown, but the move sets on SmackDown were easy. Direction, circle, L1 for your finish, L1 for the win. So I'm gonna take this, I showed Scotty that I had this a couple of months ago, um, sent me a message on Instagram. He'd never seen it, but he loves seeing the old match. I want to take this. I want to be a mark. I want to see if it's signing for me. So we're getting meal prep sorted to take with us, and this is something I do not just on wrestling days, but most days. Um, well, all days if I'm going out anywhere, prepping food at wrestling shows. You'll see people with the what I call gimmick foods, the little chicken and the broccoli Tupperware, and you look at them and. You know they're not eating that any other day of the week. It's like they're trying to make an impression or they're trying to keep up appearances by eating healthy um, on a show day. And it's like, come on, if you don't eat it this normally, you're not fooling anyone by carrying chicken and broccoli around. If you are actually eating properly and training properly, you don't need to tell people, you don't need to show people. You can tell just by the way you look. So I've got three chicken and rices here, a um, little bit of pepper in. Each meal is going to be roughly 40, 45 grams of protein. There's going to be 70 grams of carbs in each meal because we're using the tilde races. And yes, when you do meal prep and you take it out with you, you've got to eat the food cold and dry because it's about 140, 145 now. These meals will be for about two o'clock, five o'clock and eight o'clock. If there's not a microwave at the venue, which nine times out of 10, there isn't at wrestling venues, then you're eating your food cold, dry, but this is the way. So I'm gonna finish microwaving the rices off, get them packed up. We're gonna have the cream of rice with the protein powder mixed in it, and that will be all six meals prepped or eaten for the day, the ones I've already had, and then we'll be hitting the road, and I'll see you all at the Thunderdome, not the Thunderdome, the Walker Dome, the Thunderstruck. Here we are at the well famous Walker Dome, the Thunderdome, as Shreddy calls it. Thunderdome. <laughs> this is me filming the filming of the documentary of North. Where's my. This will be going straight on YouTube. Let's uh, tell. The, the pressure of being filmed there was too much. And I've done my wrist tape too tight. I've done the same. I know. Was it because was it you were being filmed? It was. It was. Pressure. And you got to do like a good, good, good one, but no, it's too much. Pressure. Too much for me. Yeah. Get 100 good up, Are you alright? Are you in your nausea? 
It's going to be gone later. It's not. Oh, we're, we're talking to John now. Spoiler. Turn the camera off. Spoiler. Yeah, fast count. You're going to look like him. You're going to look like him later. Shut up, Tom. Tom from the radio. What? Tom from the radio. Never heard of him. What? He sounds rubbish. He's good. He's not. Oh, I've heard. He's good. I've heard of all the radio presenters in the North East. He's one of them. He's good. The thing is, you can't even hear him in Yorkshire, so you know. You can if you stand on your roof. Oh, yeah. Blair, I'll blair this face out. Yes, yeah. <laughs> That'll save me the edit now. He's doing a behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, a documentary in the documentary. Oh, in that case. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Whoa. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Boo!
I just wrestled Scotty Swatty. I've seen him, man. What's a welcome? Look you're actually getting a wrestle, Scotty Swatty. Silly. Silly. Absolutely mental. Silly. Who are you wrestling? Uh, I don't know if you know him. He's called uh, Gangrel. What does he do? Uh, he's like a vampire. He was in WWE. He wrestled The Rock. Don't know if you know The Rock. Oh. Is that um, that rock guy? Yeah, he was Black Adam. Oh. Yeah, him. So yeah, I'm wrestling Gangrel. Was it the Tooth Fairy? I know him. No, no, he's a vampire. <laughs> In the building? This is why I came. This is why I came. Baldy. Baldy Which bouncer. Which one? I was. It's got the Ronaldo. Keep it and do it. Yeah. Benji Hogan. Benji Hogan. Mm -hmm. yeah. You should, you should just keep it like that. Oh, yeah, I just do four wrongs. I'm sure this will be alright. You do? Four wrongs out of the back. Do it. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. He's definitely going on a list now, like, isn't he? Look at yeah. it like that. So that's why like, when you came around to the back of him, yeah. you, know, you, you see he's up at us. I was like, I don't think it was. You took up crazy. Yeah. So, right? Thank you guys, I'm going to grab my stuff over here. Thank you. <laughs> you should have done him on the picture with you. My name is, I've got a photo there, yeah. I've got a photo of that side of him. Call me Mark, because look at this. The boyhood dream has come true. Cue the Vince voice up. The boyhood dream! It's come true. <laughs> mental. Absolutely mental. What a day. 
what a match. Just what an experience it was to be in the ring, sharing a ring with Scotty Totley. One of the most surreal moments of my life was being stood in that ring when Scotty's music was playing. He was making his entrance. I genuinely could not believe it. It was just so surreal that I was in this position that as a kid, that literally would have been my dream to be on Raw, to be on SmackDown, wrestling my favourite wrestlers. And 20 odd years later, this wrestling journey I've been doing for the past couple of years to try and fulfil that goal and to try and reach that goal and become a WWE superstar. This, if I never get signed, it's moments like this. If I never get an opportunity with WWE, it's things like this and moments like this that kind of come close to it. Getting to live out those childhood dreams is just something that nothing else in this world could give me other than wrestling. If you haven't done so already, I would definitely check out North Wrestling. I've put their details down in the description box below. If you're in the UK, check one of their shows out. If you're not in the UK, check out their YouTube, check out their On Demand. And the full match, the full show is available to stream. So make sure to check out North Wrestling. I honestly don't know what the future is going to hold. I don't know if I'll ever get that opportunity with WWE. But the only way that I will be able to get that opportunity is if I keep doing what I'm doing, keep grinding away and keep chasing that dream. You can follow up my entire wrestling and bodybuilding journey. I hitting the subscribe button you can check out this playlist to check out previous wrestling show day vlogs and until next time remember this ain't no gimmick it's a lifestyle